What's up, YouTube? This is my uh, Tomahawk and Golden Spot Boy. Bear with me now, it's recorded in theater, so. First of all, a thousand points. We'll open that door. The four star is just behind. The door will turn on Cherry and the Gondola. Which will enable us to get down to the Juggernaut and the final dog. There you go off here, you can see how to prolong your afterlife is get another player to kind of semi revive you and that will extend your time in afterlife. And up here I have the key, the warden's key is hanging from the hook and I go in and open the warden's office. Now I get revived and we will get the first dog going. There we go. Now we just skip to the end when the dog is full. There it is, and you'll just see the dog disappear back into the wall. Now we're heading off to the second dog, which is just above the cafeteria in the infirmary. Go in here, and there's the second dog on the wall. And again, we skip to the end. There's the dog retreating back into the wall. He's Filled with zombies. Let's go to the last and final dog. We will open this door, go back past Cherry to the gondola. Now I like to do this turn on job and go down and open the second gate for the part. And this can be a pain as it usually takes two people one person in afterlife and one person to pick up the part. But if you do this while it's still locked, jump over, open the second door. Now when you open the first door, the second door stays open and you don't get trapped. Once again, back to this dog. You get the last one and you hear a hell. And you now it's full and you see the dog light up red as seen on the left hand side there. Open the jug, now we can it, and let's go grab our tomahawks. This is our level 1 tomahawk, the red one, the Hell's Retriever. Now we go down to the wardens and open up where double tap would be. Up past the spoiled staircase, and there we go. We've got the red tomahawk. Now we fill up. Oh, I remember this. Here we go. Whatever you do, don't let anybody do this to you. I went into afterlife to open the washroom. And I said to the guy, is there any chance you could like go down and open up the washing machine area? But do not turn around as I will get trapped inside and I will not be able to revive myself. But this guy obviously wasn't listening and look, he turns on the washing machine. I'm locked inside. I can't get out and revive myself, and the only guy that can revive me is too far away. Brilliant, huh? This is the sort of people you have to play with. God damn. So, as you see, I end up with it down because I can't get out of the room, and the guy finally comes. Second too late. Now we head over to the pack a punch area or the bridge or whatever and now I'm not sure what the story is of this people say it's kills but I think otherwise you need to do a complete round on the bridge from once the round starts to the round finishes and I thought we were going to get it this round but it's not actually this round we actually get it the next round and how you know is not kills as you see on so many videos online where they say you need to get X amount of kills Y amount of kills or whatever you have to stay on this bridge for one complete round one player, four player, it doesn't matter and you have to stay here using only the tomahawk until you hear a specific sound once you've heard that sound, which 
it will occur right at the end of the round as the last zombie is killed you will hear a distinct sound once you hear this sound that's how you know your tomahawk has been upgraded but it's not the final step as happens here we go to the end of the round we don't hear the sound so we have to continue on Now I can't remember if you skip or if you play, well, bear with me, and you will hear the sound, it's quite distinct. And something strange happens in this round as well as we're going, we, obviously we get two Brutus at the start of the round, but well, halfway through this round we actually get another Brutus spawn in. I don't know if this has anything got to do with the Tomahawk upgrade or not. It's just something we we'll have to find out as somebody else finds out while we somehow come across a reason for this. I'm going to skip on through. Everybody using only the tomahawks. One person running around in circles. Harding up all the zombies for the rest of the players. Now this could be done in any number of ways, but this is the way we have found it to work best. So I think we're almost finished here. Maybe a few more zombies, and then we will get Bruce again. There he is. I was like, what the hell? He doesn't usually spawn in midway through rounds. But as he does, we get the last few and listen. There was the sound. We'll play it again a couple of times just so you get to hear it. That was the sound. Now once you've heard that sound, you don't want to throw your tomahawk again, except when you're throwing it into the lava. The lava you will see coming up. Here we go, the sound again. Distinct sound. And off we go. Now once we come back, Underneath the first staircase we went over through the first door that I paid for is a pool of lava and what you want to do is charge up your tomahawk, throw it into the lava and you won't get it back and you will hear that distinct sound once again. You'll actually hear it multiple times as everybody else throws their tomahawk into the lava. And you know that you walked because the tomahawk icon will be flashing on the screen and you will no longer have the red tomahawk. Here we go again, listen up. Something's coming. Something big. And because this is theater, you can see the lava splash, there is usually a lava splash. You won't see the tomahawk come back towards you. All you need to do now is survive the round and at the start or the end, it doesn't really matter any round previous or after you preceding throwing your tomahawk into the lava you can use the afterlife spots anywhere this game I happen to use this one you go into afterlife Go down to where the tomahawk was, it will now be there and you will have the Hell's Redeemer, which is blue. Um, highest I've been is around 40 at the moment and it still won't throw, won't kill if it's been charged up at any stage. The more you charge it, 
the more zombies you will kill you. Now here is the golden spark, after getting our gold blue tomahawk, we knock the poster down, we go into afterlife, and because again this is theater, you cannot see the spawn, but trust me it's there, we hear a laugh. Again it's a distinct sound, let's hear it again. The spawn is always in the same place. You have to hear that laugh. If you don't hear that laugh, you need to you've missed the spawn and you need to electrocute that spawn just to teleport it. The next step is uh, not this part as such, but this does become a part. You need to get the blunder gap either from the box or from the schools and put acid and turn it into the acid gat. Now this is really the next step, next two steps as such. Again because of theater you cannot see but there is a spoon there that will slow it down and you'll be able to see. There is after you've electrocuted the force the spoon there will be a spoon on this table and when you throw your tomahawk in you'll be able to retrieve this spoon and there you can see it stuck to the top end of the tomahawk and that needs to be put into the bathroom upstairs again one more time you see the spoon and you're here we'll say your number and that your time is up. Up to this single bathtub room and there we see the spoon beneath the spin. We hold square to deposit the spoon into the bathtub. One more time you can actually see some spoons still spinning around in there. Again this is because it's on theater. Now the last step is down to the washroom and get as many kills as possible with the acid cat. Hear the distinct laugh. Similar to the laugh we used to receive on getting the teddy bear. But once we've heard this distinct laugh, we go back up to the bathtub. Pressing square again, and like magic, a zombie hand. Appear from the bathtub holding something gold. Now I have a lot of shots of it. Again, this is theater, and it's just a quick freeze frame. And then you see the golden spot coming out. Um, myself taking my one. Then you go stab, one hit kill, round 18. Now this is all the way up to round 33.